Hi, I'm Vicki Hoth, Education Coordinator for Handy Quilter. I'm doing this series to present the new features of the HQ Pro Stitcher being released in June of 2013. The, this feature that I'd like to show you is a crop feature. So we're first we're going to bring in a design and we, so we go to our file and open our design and I want to do a continuous line design. I want to bring in this bunny and stars. What I want is I want to isolate this bunny right here and this bunny is this very same bunny as all of these so you could isolate any, any one of them but I'm going to isolate this bunny and crop out everything away from it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to quilt and to new start point. I want to bring this start point right here up to right into that little ribbon area. So I can start moving that slider or if I wanted to I could move my crosshair over. So let's just go ahead and move that crosshair up to that area so that it's right on that and then if I press start auto it moved my start point right up there. Now I want to fine tune it a little bit so I want to go in just a little bit more and once I push the arrows it turns off the start auto and it has to turn it off because if you left it on and then started moving your crosshairs it follows you and you don't want that you want it to turn off so I'm going to just fine tune that by pressing those arrows or I could press the start auto button but I'm just going to fine tune it and go right up into that point. Alright, now I want to take this stop point, I want to move that up to the foot of the bunny. Again, if I want I can move my crosshair over and I'm going to go a little bit away from it and then I will fine tune it with the arrow. So I'm going to press the stop auto and it moved it right over there. I can turn that off and I can continue to use, see I'm going away so we're going to go forward right up, nested right up inside of there. Now I have isolated this with my start and stop but I still have all of the rest of this showing. Well we're going to go to design, we're going to crop and you will see a new button, start and. When I press this, all of this will disappear. Watch. There. Now I have created a new design. I like that. I can put that in or go to my file and I can save that. And since now it, uh, to me, it looks like a block, I am going to select blocks and I'm going to type right down here bunny and I'm going to put cute because I think he is. Alright, so we have a bunny cute or we could have said cute bunny but that's what I typed. Now I can go ahead and close my keyboard and save. Now let's go into file, open it up and let's find that bunny. It's in alphabetical order so we're, we need to be into blocks and there's my bunny. See the reason I named it something different is because there is a bunny that's not so cute. So I put the cute bunny in there. I have two different bunnies. He is saved as a new design. So think of the possibilities of going, let's go back into continuous line and think of the possibilities of some of the designs that are here. If I do the daisy border, I really like that flower. I bring that flower in now. Notice I still have my bunny because I didn't close him out. If I want to close him, I need to select him. So I'm going to select and I'm going to select that bunny. I can close that bunny out of the screen and now I have this. I do need to select it so that I can work with it. And by touching on it, it has selected it. Again, I can isolate and say, you know what, I just want one of those flowers. I can move the stop and start point, go to quilt, new start and. If I wanted to, I could move my, uh, hop, or my crosshair to it or 
I could use my arrows and just slide it along there or actually use the slider. Now I went too far, so I'm going to go back so that it just goes in. You can see, all right, let's fine tune that so it just goes right in there. I've isolated that. Again, let's move this start point over and isolate. Okay, we did a little bit too far. Right up there, they could be right on top of each other. Now, again, let's go to design, to crop, and we are only going to have this flower. So, there we go. Again, we go to File, to Save, and since this is another block design, I want it to be in my blocks, and we can call this Cropped Flower. and save it. Let's go in, let's see if we can find it. Open up, and we want to go to blocks, and it's a C cropped flower, there we are. We can bring it in, and now we have that flower. Enjoy this new feature.